How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest release video and today I am actually super excited for the release. I've never been excited for an AQ release in a very long time and uh, I already played through the release yesterday night right as it came out and I have to say I was not disappointed guys so let's go ahead and check it out in the video okay I didn't record it yesterday night because it was already like 1am something so yeah Entropy Reckoning I also didn't read through the story last night so a little bit of a shocker there. <laughs> there it is, just where I thought it would be, and already a cert. The cradle of the world, split open. Its stone is shaking with the impending birth of a new god, and the pantheon hasn't stepped in yet. Are you still so busy with the tatters I've made of your precious time? Good. You deserve congratulations as well, chess master, for setting my stage. First, let's do away with the welcoming party. <coughs> Girl, nothing. It feels like divine power already, or as if it will cause a paradox to uncreate these elementals. Do you work their creation into the start of your ritual once I took the orb? I cannot undo them without also spoiling my prize. Fine, simple destruction it is. Your grand work will take days or weeks. I will be upon you in moments. Entropy has reached Dawn's Stone Keep. After losing his lead on a technological method to create a god, he seeks to hijack the magical ritual that Karuna created. Will the path resist him for long? So a little bit of an error here, maybe they should make the text slightly smaller. So it doesn't encroach onto this to battle button. Wrangling elementals won't save you, Karuna. The one thing buying you more time is this cramped tunnel. Even in a weaker form, I'll reach you soon. So this works sort of similar to a war, but not really a war. So you're supposed to go all the way up to 100%. And you get to play as this very, very cool entropy, aka Drake have armor, uh, manifest hatred, <coughs> armor, bitter fury, sword, no shield. 16% to all resist, 63 MRM, and all in all, very, very powerful, as you guys can see here. So, attack. So, it's a 3 hit, uh, ice attack. Sometimes it's harm, sometimes it's ice. I don't know what in the world uh, makes it ice and what makes it harm. <coughs> and then, it also comes with two skills. First one, Royal Wrath. A broken crown, a broken kingdom, a broken life. Why stop there? The world can be broken and remade. Your enemy will have to settle for half of that. So it costs 385 SP and you can see here it's still 3 hits and can inflict the hatred thingy I think. No. Okay, it gives it a charge, okay? The charge you'll use for the second skill called Reckoning. The orb can't teach you to manage the surges of potential energy released by reckless acts of uncreation. You can't consume it like the Galen can, but you can cause enough damage to pull it down on your enemy. So it causes 289 SP and 257 HP, but look at this. Void. That's right, guys. Holy moly. <coughs> that is just so freaking cool. Like, I, I love this mod. I love that we are able to play as Entropy. Like, look at how powerful this is. Like, this is insane, dude. We're just cutting through everything. And of course, we have 250 to all three main sets. 200 to Endurance and Charisma. No luck, so we can't Lucky Strike. But who the heck needs Lucky Strikes, dude? Look at this. This is so... Oh, why do I keep clicking that? Okay, Royal Ref. Ah, there we go. So sometimes it does harm, sometimes it does ice. I don't know when when it switches or if it's completely random or what, but yeah. So uh, stacking up more of this Royal Ref skill allows you to boost the damage of your Reckoning skill. So let's do Reckoning later on. Once you gain enough SP. And then we also have this. This one is the coal, so it inflicts minus 5 BTH and minus 5 blocking. Okay, I think it is it that per turn? Uh, no, uh, I think it depends on how many times you manage to land hits and successfully roll. So it will stack to, and I don't think there's a limit to the stack. That's why it's so crazy. Look at that. Crazy, crazy, man. And uh, I have to be honest, this is a little lengthy okay uh this whole quest in general is a little lengthy mainly because one you have to fight quite a lot of enemies and two the most of the enemies usually have high hp but uh these quests are the exception for me personally i feel that if you can play as someone super op like entropy you know what i don't mind slightly longer quests because it's fun it's fun to go ahead and crush everything in your path so yeah i actually don't mind this so oh there we go harm damage <coughs> 
Or I think maybe if ice is less than 100, it defaults to harm. And then if like ice is more than 100, it defaults to ice. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this is very, very fun. You can just cut through everything like a hot knife through butter. And I love quests like these where you can play as a different character. It's just so fun, especially when the character is so freaking OP. I feel like they should do more of such style of quests. Like, it's it's just a fun experience overall to like go on a power trip and just cut through everything without having to switch out of anything and like just you know spam attack spam your skills and just watch the monster die like this is the type of fun that i like to see in aq okay so gameplay and for the quest itself is already pretty good okay the story part uh we'll read through the story more of the story later on and then we'll talk about that <coughs> Faron, okay you really don't have to worry too much about your health. I think there's like a super duper low chance of dying if I'm being honest. Okay, let's just finish this. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, no. I forgot to read. Ah, I forgot to read the 25% cutscene. Okay, never mind. We can read that later. Whoops, miss. Oh, this one has higher MIM. But... Every single one of your normal attacks has a chance to inflict consuming hatred and that is basically the code. So your enemy not only loses BTH but they lose blocking as well, making all of your attacks able to hit even more easily. <laughs> this is just insane. Insane dude. So you get high damage, you can reduce the enemy's BTH for good defense, you can reduce the enemy's blocking so to ensure your high damage hits always lands. Like, that's crazy. And then you have your armor lean, fully offensive lean as well, obviously. You can't really go anything else other than full offensive for this, right? As a fully offensive build myself, like, this this is what I enjoy, man. This is what I live for. Royal Ref, look at the damage. Reckoning, so I think they've already changed some things. I don't know, they said they wanted to cut the power of the mobs in half or like cut the number of mobs in half something like that i i don't think they have changed this yet because it still seems the same from uh when i played it yesterday night when it was first released so i don't think they've changed that yet but you know what uh not a big deal because like i said give me a powerful character like this to play and sure go go ahead make the quest longer man i literally do not care because i am having so much fun okay and of course you have to talk about the artwork of this armor like look at that uh it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it looks cool to me. I actually like it. Maybe I'm biased. I don't really know, but look at that. Like, it's so cool. Half of your arm is literally like a mixture of like a dragon claw and some sort of a... I don't know, what, what do you call it? Some sort of bird. Looks a bit like chicken feet, if I'm being honest. But yeah, half of your arm is like a dragon claw. And then you have all the feathers and... Are these feathers or are these scales? It looks like feathers to me. Yeah, and then you are wielding this sword, and then your face is like half corrupted, something like that. Yeah, overall, very, very cool armor design as well. And of course, practically, the armor is great. Just wait till you guys see the reward later on. <laughs> oh man, I love it, I love it. So yeah, delayed release this week. So instead of Thursday, it was a Saturday release, which, which was why it was only released yesterday. But it was well worth the wait. And I can't say the same for many... Of AQ's releases, but this one, this one, really well, well worth the wait. And yeah, great job to the staff on <coughs> on uh, making this uh, absolutely superb quest. Like, uh, I think Cray did most of the stuff. Like the armor's idea, I think it was his, and of course he's the one doing the writing, the coding. Of course, we have uh, Cam, we have IMR, we have uh, Anim, and I don't know Hollow maybe. But yeah, I think uh, most of it were ideas from uh, Lawkeeper or Cray. Okay, so despite us having our differences, you know, I've clashed with him many times on many different things. But yeah, I have to say, this one, really, really fantastic job. So yeah, <laughs> almost no complaints. Almost, okay, except for, for the, like, the slightly longer quest bit. But like I said, man, give us an OP armor to play like this. Let us roleplay as some OP character. Cut through everything with ease. Yeah, make the quest longer. Whatever. I, I don't really care or mind that much. So let's look through the cutscene. 
get the green frog puppets out of the way. I don't want to draw steel against my own people, but for the rent, charge. No more of that, please. Alright, you can come out now. Wait, get a little guy out of the way. Protect that Mowgli and don't let him get trampled. Enough. Everyone, stop. Ho, oh, knights, soldiers, stay your weapons. The agitators among you hold no sway where I walk. Now that I have taken away your bow and hostility, look around you. Your, o your other brothers and sisters have already listened. You can end this war now. You have a difficult task ahead. While I am here to quell your fury, you will have no issue finding those who brought you to war. Those that desire blood, not resolution. Cast them aside and work together. Entropy has fooled the people and caught alike. They have been turned on each other that he may take from both. These people aren't rebels. They think their king has been enslaved. These knights are not tyrants. Mercenaries have posed as both of you to paint the scene of a slave king's bloody tyranny. I still feel angry, but I can listen to what they have to say. I know that Trellin went to defend the Brujado, but yeah, I've been wondering if maybe it was their people, not the ones that attacked us. Maybe he didn't want them to get hurt. Precisely. Just as we don't want you to suffer because of a war founded on lies. That is what Entropy has done. It's why he made each of you take his name, to make you take the fall. Good, it seems you are among the more reasonable skirmishers. Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh. Okay, a little bit of a bug here. What in the world is this? Uh, back to default colors. Where's my red and black? The army is playing its part perfectly. I've sent the fastest ones out in waves while defensive formations hold each access point. <coughs> Excuse me. They're set to look like they're trying to seal the gates. Excellent idea. Would that, would that we still had the prime ops to go a step further? It will certainly make the trap more effective. Though it will also add more points of failure. About that, what will happen in the Prime Orbs? They disappear with the pieces. As it happened with the Wind Orb, a new one will have to coalesce at the heart of each elemental realm. While they are meant to be in mortal hands during times of need, perhaps it's for the best that they not be affected while Entropy lives. Fair enough, if he got his hands on all of them, the realm wouldn't see another dawn, and that would just be the start. There is someone who managed to make sure Loritia and the Galen wouldn't get to help us. I figured out how he might have hid from them or made sure they would look in the wrong place and time, but I still don't fully understand how he put that off. A god forces certain limits upon themselves when manifesting in another world. This and my split attention is part of how Erebus was able to slay me, but to gain greater to strain greater deities in their own world. Something similar must be done on a far greater scale. Strange as it may sound, it is possible to exhaust a god or make it difficult for us to communicate. We gods are at war with entropy as we speak. Not the creature that we are presently luring here, but the incredible damage she has done to Law's timeline. What it does recklessly with entire burning futures as collateral damage. Loritia and the Galen must undo it meticulously, splitting their power and attention to save as many lives as possible. Even they cannot see, but are burning haze in Lost Future until the work is done. I myself have focused on sparing you the worst effects. Thus, you live in a timeline that we repair, not the fractured and chaotic ways that could be, and you are consumed from Entropy's memory. Wherever and whenever my Lorian colleagues are focusing, they are split into such a myriad of efforts that I imagine they can barely spare the attention for minor manifestations right now. I knew the situation was terrible, but this is overwhelming. We have to stop Entropy right here. How is that spell coming along? Life is studying it as we speak. Should please return, they will be able to help a little. It will be ideal to have the full host of the Avatar to better manage the Deep's power. But my aid will have to do. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go to battle. Fire Cobra. And uh, if you guys see from the writing, I also have to give props to the writing. It is a lot more understandable. Like previously, for for the writing, you know, it was just chock filled of fancy words. And I'm like, oh, oh my god, do I have to study English to go ahead and understand this freaking game that I'm playing? But right now, I think the, the writing has improved tremendously for this quest at least. Like, I can actually understand it you know uh do more writing in like layman terms terms like that yeah the writing has certainly improved a lot and uh once again i have to give lawkeeper the credits for the improved writing uh one more gripe that little very little gripe that i still have is that cut the number of like words inside of one dialogue box like i think they still can learn a lot from dragon fable like the the writing has been simplified which is nice but the number of words uh, for one dialogue box maybe still a little bit too much like cut it a bit more yeah i would say like you, the whole dialogue box shouldn't be filled up make it like half filled or something like that i don't know if it's possible to do that while still keeping all the content of the story but maybe 
uh, just split it up so we have more dialogue boxes but lesser text in one dialogue box. That makes it a bit more, I say, digestible. Yeah, when you're reading through the whole story, because let's be honest, story really isn't the strong suite of Adventure Quest Classic. Uh, most people just like to you know play the game for the combat because I personally think the combat is the best part of the game. But uh, I think that they can start to improve on. And if they want people to take more notice of the story, then uh, I feel like that's the step that they should take. I mean, Dragon Fable has undoubtedly one of the best writing in all of a uh, AE's games. So yeah, learn learn from them. Cut a little bit out of the dialogue box, and I think maybe just fine tune a little bit more in terms of the uh, the language that is used for the quest. And I can see a very bright future for aq storyline so yeah oh not now you apeling what when did i make it this far blaster shock traps must have stunned me long enough to lose track but these traps weren't in the defender's orders they weren't even mentioned in court or around him could trail no no matter not much further i can't let her get any more powerful now this is going to start happening now of all times that's why i can't just hunt him down then and he can't just go back to the point where he met me and track him from there without fixing Law's timeline which he's messing up as we speak. I would have long since destroyed him if not for the interference. Such is the danger of the orb. It can spread through it It can spread enough destruction through time to disorient even a god. It's worse than just raw energy. The faces coalesce a magical engine for the residue of uncreation. It will cause such havoc in contact with divine power that Trellin was tasked with containing it while it decayed. I could have stopped him. If I had been faster, it's a good thing I won Korriban. Absolutely, it's poetic justice really. Our wager and trophy tried to turn on a reverse over being manipulated, which makes this a delicious irony. Through Korriban, everyone and trophy manipulator is coming together to undo him. Erebus, Trellin, Falarin, yourself, and I believe there's one more victim. This reckoning belongs to all of you. I'm not completely sure that Falarin's intervention will stop Entropy then. If you can't help because you're spinning to so many points of the timeline at once, what can he do? Falarin has his own responsibilities. And can only spare as much power as a demigod might have. For our matters, for self-defense, for payback, oh, our chosen will have a lot of help. If you're that certain, alright, then what happens to me? Now that you've given us the information we are we were missing, well, we will still need help with the children until we have cleaned up after entropy, but I've already decided where to send you. Venda, somewhere where you struggle to revolt against us, but where a revolutionary heart will find exile and purpose to be one and the same. The roles have reversed throughout its history. Well, we don't need to give a lecture. It's enough to say that the right woman in the right place might just keep history from repeating itself. It'll help you with your children, mine. Who knows? Perhaps you'll see him again. Hopefully that won't come to blows. Vanda, I have to teach the kids about so much about being careful there. And Trophy had better be getting knocked around by my traps right now because I need to give someone a concussion for this. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. Oh, wait. Ah. Oops. Okay, to battle. Excuse me. Evil Tiki. Uh, no, not this. Whew, look at the damage. And let's finish it. Ah, so close. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? God plan. Okay, so yesterday I ran into this guy and there were a little bit of issues. So you can see a God plan will go first. And when he does go first, he hits you with this cake thingy. So previously, cake was. Or rather, yesterday night when I was fighting, it was giving me like minus 80 to minus 200 BTH. So it was literally impossible to hit him at all. Apart from using Ella Assist. So yesterday night, I had to use Ella Assist to hit him. But, uh, hello? What's going on? Okay, so yeah, he goes a, a whole bunch of times, but that's not a big deal. Okay, I think uh, I'm still going to use Ella Assist to kill him off, yeah. That will be the fastest way, because he, he goes a lot of times per turn, and he does very little damage, so it's not exactly very dangerous, but he, he's just annoying. Sit here, wait for him to finish his turns. Speaking of which, maybe in the future we can... <laughs> Get celerity to stack like that as well, that'll be crazy, right? Because I'm just dreaming, that'll probably never happen, but can you just imagine guys? 
if we could stack celerity like that instead of only once per turn being able to act three times per round oh my god that would be insane ah the kick again minus 20.8 And yes. And one more time. Uh, 20.7, okay. There we go. Alright, so they fixed the whole problem with God Plan, finally. Yeah, otherwise you would literally have never been able to hit him apart from using uh, ally assist, which shouldn't be the case. Ooh, what the heck? How do he... How the heck did it do? How did it, how the heck did he dodge my attacks? Okay, this one will be able to dodge quite often, I think. Not a lot of health, thankfully. Oh god, okay, one hit. Thankfully, we have 250 to all stats. By default, the melee. Oh yeah, so all your stats are the same in default, the melee. Ah, 39, come on. Oh, you're kidding me. Come on. There we go. Okay, 100%. Numbers. Okay, so yesterday, this first fight was the fight where I encountered, uh, where I encountered the god fun, and then I was just stuck, and I'm like, wait a minute, it's uh, every single time. He hits me, he's inflicting me minus 80 to minus 200 plus BTH. So how the heck am I supposed to beat him? So after like 10 plus turns, I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the ally assist, which is also what I did. And thankfully, ally assists are auto hit. So I managed to beat the, the bugged out god clan in the end. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they fixed the issue now. So uh, no, no worries for you guys playing it now. Stone Golem. Reason why I'm not using any SP is because uh, later when we switch back to our character for the actual fight, you will need the SP, okay? So, yeah, oh, come on. Why do you keep missing? Jeez. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, this is not very difficult. You just have to keep spamming attack. And also, the story or like the dialogue part of this quest is also not super lengthy. Like, there isn't like half an hour's worth of dialogue that I need to read through so this is nice uh, this I would say this entire quest is more battle heavy than it is dialogue heavy but yeah let, let the battles do the talking you know I think it's great uh, it's a very nice balance maybe just cut the number of battles by a little bit and we are go man you literally have like a uh, one of the most perfect quests ever inside of AQ and most of the quest lines or storylines usually are very far from perfect in this game. So yeah, that's saying something, man. Fun fights, uh, interesting boss, which we'll go through later. Very, very good rewards. Storyline is not too difficult to understand. Short, sweet. So yeah. And why do I keep missing? Jeez. I want to save my SP. That's why I'm not using any SP attack for the fight later. So yeah, they said that uh, when Law Keeper first did the release, he posted on AEO saying that you might want to collaborate with your friends, uh, you might want to you know use the battle log to <laughs> make the fight easier or like to figure out the fight faster. But uh, yeah, I managed to do it in the first try. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm a pretty good player then. You know, uh, <laughs> let's go next Stone Golem. Another one. Uh, at least this one won't, shouldn't be dodging that much. 87 MRM. That's about average. Why? Why am I still missing? I shouldn't be missing. Yeah, also I will probably be releasing a uh, free-to-play way of beating the boss on uh, next Thursday so yeah you guys can or this Thursday rather so you guys can go ahead and stay tuned for that if you are free to play who is having trouble with the boss I, I can help out oh the haste at last what that this is the deed it has to be but where is the energy there's no way it can be done it doesn't look like you even started Karuna where are you hiding 
Prince Jacob, and here I was seeing Trident's point and not suspecting you. Nowhere left to run, Entropy. You should be less not less than nothing, a fading memory. No matter, have you killed Karuna already then? You must have, you couldn't hide the orbs from me. No matter, no matter, I'm already here, I'll figure something out, but you? You? If the gods are really so sentimental that they'll waste energy on bringing you back when they should focus on me, then I will break their hearts one more time before their reign ends. How are you interfering with the orb? You've been very clever, surely you don't expect me to gloat. No, you're too much of a threat, I'm putting an end to your schemes. Now, you've caused me one advantage, congratulations, you can now settle for death. Alright, so here we have Entropy. Okay, so he has freedom, he's immune to the cold, and uh, generally he's quite resistant to most of the elements. You want to hit him with fire, light, or harm if you can. Entropy is going all out. He can't use the full power of the Uncreation Orb yet, but can go stronger after calling down his energy. Try to stop him from recovering. 97 MRM, so this is a weakened version of the fight, so it's not at his full power yet. And there'll be another fight after this. So uh, he attacks with darkness and his SP attack will be ice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the first fight. So let's go ahead and start the battle. This one also doesn't have any damage cap, so we can just go ahead and nuke him or something. Uh, let's do this, let's do this. And spiritual amplification. You can do this as well because, uh, like I say, he doesn't have any damage caps for now. <coughs> Uh, you can also use your damage boosters. It's quite easy to inflict against him. Oh, okay, I got unlucky there. Yesterday night when I was first doing it, I managed to land every single thing I inflict. So yeah, not 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 a big deal yesterday night. But today looks like I'm not as lucky. Oh, come on. Okay, I don't want to go too crazy because I do kind of want to conserve for later. Okay, so yeah, I think let's go ahead and hit him. Okay. And we have 551 HP barrier. Okay, miss. Nice. You can also dodge slash the boss, which I've seen a few people doing. Okay. Uh 532 HP. Whoops. Forgot to switch to ice. Okay, so now he should hit with ice again, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's switch to Lost Talon Tower. It's Mr. Gas Pet. I guess we can get Fairy Godmother out to heal. Uh, I kind of want to build some SP here. Oh, you know what? This isn't the strongest version, right? Yeah, actually, why, why Fairy Godmother when we can just get freaking uh, Comatoid Jelly? Yeah, so for the strongest version, you want to do it slightly differently. For this one, I'm going to use Comatoid Jelly. Over here, let's have him heal, heal MP, shall we? No, not MP. I'm going to chug an MP pot. Let's have him heal SP. Yeah. Oh, come on. Seriously? Okay. Back to Spell Slinger. Uh, Dragon Lord's Will, and then we can go with our. Yeah, let's go with the SP heal. Olala. And Ebus. If he uses the SP attack again, I'm probably dead. Hope he doesn't. The, the Ice attack again. I don't think he should, right? Okay. Darkness. I don't know what he's going to hit with right now. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to play this safe and uh, I'm going to chug a. I'm going to go ahead and chug a HP pot here. Yeah, I'm going to play it safe and chug a HP pot here. I also want to build up SP for the later part of the fight. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Whew, that was a close one. Uh, let me see. Can we kill him? I don't know. I don't think we can. I think next attack should be darkness. I think it alternates between ice and darkness. I can't really remember which attack he does. Uh, let me see here. Do we... What do we want to go with? I forgot. Uh, New King? I think we want to kill him. Oh yeah. Pixel Eater. Get one more in. Okay. I don't think we can kill him. 
Yeah, but I'm gonna try. Okay, one more turn and he should be dead. Assuming we don't die. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got him. Uh, now I think we can go ahead and spam EO so we have enough for the next battle. Okay, so I'm just gonna do... Okay, it doesn't matter actually. Okay, there we go. <coughs> next. Those shreds of uncreation mana are getting harder to keep up with. If Entropy gets the other upper hand, he'll uncreate me again. I know, here I go again. There you are, I suspected it had to be you, Faceless, but only one of you? Just wait until I'm rid of this human. No winged ape will save you, no cold. Hiyas, we found Prince. Wait, Dracap and Trophy look just like you. You, how can you even stand? Ah, you are the reason my strength fades. What's going on here? Long story, only just realized it myself. Devara used the cold to make me let go of my hatred. And Erebus interfered. I thought I had given in and released that hatred, but I refused to release me. You discovered our connection far too late. I've plumbed your mind of everything I need. What you were too soft to reclaim, I will avenge. I thought I was sick or cursed. It was you all along, spying on trailing through me. Korriban, let me help. If I can get one good hit in, I could use your, our connection to weaken him as he did me. Prince, you look like you can barely stand. I'm stealing back enough strength to fight. Let me finish this. Poor desperate vestige. I don't even need to uncreate you. Die. Okay, so here we have a choice. Okay, so first off, very nice of them to give us the inventory locker here so you can just use it to uh, put in the stuff that you need and if you die you go back to this checkpoint so that's quite nice also they were saying that they wanted to add in another checkpoint right before the weakened fight uh, I don't really think there's a need to but it's nice for people who are unprepared so the easier fight here would be to battle alongside Jcaf and with Jcaf as the guest so Jcaf has fainted whenever and trophy rage and grown stronger when the dragon rested he can exploit that connection to weaken this dangerous enemy for you now I'm not sure uh what this does honestly because i haven't tried this fight out but you guys can go and try it uh but i'll be showing you guys the challenge right so fight alone is the challenging one jcav looks wounded and tired entropy must have been draining more than the power they unknowingly shared buy him time to build up strength and strike when it counts so we'll go ahead and fight alone here so he does the same thing except that his ice attack isn't really that random anymore so normally he hits with darkness and uh his sp attack he'll hit with the ice breath attack and then right after his ice breath attack he will do a hum uh hum damage attack it's only one hit it doesn't do a whole lot but you need to be prepared for it so yeah that's all i have to say apart from that resistances the same pretty much uh mrm about the same but he also has this new form of damage cap called plot armor so we cannot lose more than 1,009 HP per turn, sort of like a hard cap. <coughs> so yeah, this includes uh, your player attacks, your spells, your gas damage, as well as your pet damage. So if you already overkill him with your uh, player damage, then your pet and guests are going to do zero damage. So I just wanted to put that out there for those who are unaware. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the battle. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and try and get this though i don't know this this is probably overkill i don't think we need this i think i'll just do bag of mixed nuts yeah that's what i'll do and then we can spam the rest on shadow feeder pendant yesterday i was able to get very lucky oh god did they did they change that somehow what okay <laughs> maybe they changed that yeah yesterday i was able to get the shadow feeder proc uh very very fast very very easily Today I I don't know what happened. Did my luck run out? 300 versus is 250. No, it's 250 versus 250. Sorry. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe I was just super duper lucky yesterday. It looks like my luck has ran out today. No, no more easy shadow feeder procs. Or maybe they didn't program it properly, so I was able to gain a lot of shadow feeder yesterday. Oh, good God! Are you kidding me, bro? What? What is this? What the heck, mate? Zero? Oh my god, this is not looking good. Was this? I, I don't know if this is intentional or I'm just super unlucky. I, I'm gonna go if I'm just super unlucky. Yesterday night, I was inflicting like almost, almost every single time I clicked on it. Today, not even once? Finally! Finally! Oh, there we go! Four rounds! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
Finally. Wow. Just very, very unlucky, I think. Oh, that was a huge waste of HP. Uh, let's see here. What do you want to do? We can do Prime Chaos Orb. Yeah, that's what we do. And then we can have... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, we can have Lust. Lust is technically overkill, I think. So we just do Creation Burst. Oh, we can do Destruction Burst. Yeah, Destruction Burst. Will work. Okay. And then he also has backlash, so it reflects 200% of damage dealt to the source is darkness and ice damage. Increase outgoing damage, bonus to heal resist. So now that you can't damage him, there's no point trying to go for more damage. So what you want to do is go ahead and heal up, ideally with your healing gas. And you don't want to use something like Cometoid Jelly that relies on damage because it's not going to heal you if it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> that was what I found out yesterday, so instead I'm going to be using Fairy Godmother, okay? And then I think we can just uh, chuck a HP pot here. Hide the healing a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, oh, he cut through the shield. He cut through my barrier in one go. Wait, did I have a barrier? Oh no, the backlash destroyed the barrier. Damn, okay. Yeah, I think they buffed it up slightly. Yesterday that wasn't happening to me. I don't know. Okay, uh, we can bring out last again. If you don't overkill him and you can still damage him with pets, uh, you can go ahead and use something like Lust to stop his SP attack if you want to. I personally don't think it's needed. So yeah. Uh, let's go back to Fairy Godmother. I'm going to use Essence Sword because I'm running out of SP here. And then we can have... What shall we do? Let's just do Prime Chaos Sword for the damage. No, no, no. Optical, sorry. Optical for the healing. We can no. Talk about mana amplification as well. Oh no. Wait, hold on. This what does this boost? Uh spells, pet and gas attacks. Okay, let's do that for the healing. Let's see. Fire, huh? So fire or light? Or chemical unity? Uh, blind the monster Okay we'll Have that blind Where's the one We can switch modes Oh okay So now it's in magic damage Okay Oh come on <coughs> Excuse me Okay Whew. Oh heavy damage Okay now We want to switch to Ice Necro Cave And I know it's going to use His SP attack right now But it's okay So we'll use this first uh, let me see. It's called Polala. Let's get a bit more SP. Can do last. So let's go ahead and get a barrier first though. I think it will probably cut through the whole barrier. Yeah, it cut through the whole barrier. And then now we switch to Ice Necro Cave. With our Lost Talent Tower Shield. <coughs> Excuse me. It's Mr. Gas. Pet, we bring up Fairy Godmother. You use optical and it does a lot of damage if you don't have good ice resist. So good ice resist is very very important. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to chug a HP pot as well. Ooh, lucky heal. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the pet's healing is wasted. That's good. I think we'll need it though. Yeah, you can see here. And now what it's going to do is it's going to do that stupid harm attack. So what you want to do for the harm attack is well, uh. I, I have this so Invincible Star so I can use it. For those of you that don't have it, you maybe might want to try looking at something else. Uh, I think Greater Star is more than enough, honestly speaking, but if you want to get something else, be my guest. Uh, dismiss this and then we can just go hit shields. Uh, shields don't really matter actually. I'm gonna chug an MP pot here. And let me see. Oh, we have yet to hit him, right? Oh yeah, we have yet to hit him. Okay, so let's do let's do destruction burst, shall we? Uh, we can do full amplification. There we go. Look at that healing, very nice. And there's the harm attack. See how much damage it does. 723. Jeez, well that is a lot. 
Okay, that is the end of my celebrity stacks as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go optical and I'm going to go and heal up with Fairy Godmother. Over here, so chuck health pots. Oh no. Okay, so now you want to stun or uh, to go ahead and try and stop his healing. When he says that, so I have my bag of mixed nuts, so we can go ahead and use that to stun. It's not a guaranteed stun, by the way. Oh, you can see here, yep, it didn't manage to stun. So if this happens, what I need to do is use another form of stun. Luckily for me, my sub race, I have not bothered to change back yet. I have Werewolf over here, but I don't know if Werewolf is going to be able to inflict or not. So I'm going to use Spotter Drake to help me out here. Okay, so I'm going to use Spotter Drake for the status potence, and I'm going to bring out Optical as well to help even more of the status potence, just in case he decides to resist or do something stupid. Oh my god, uh oh, that's bad. Resist? Yeah, he wasn't resisting this much yesterday. Bro, they, certain, they definitely buffed the fight somehow. Yeah, I think yesterday, they forgot to give it like resistance or boss boost or something like that. Yesterday, I could land almost everything. Yes, now again, please. Okay, good. Only 39.7%. That's not, that's not great, guys. That's not great. Luckily, we have one more stun here. Uh, hold on. Okay, so we still have one more stun here. Pets. Fairy Godmother. So we have one more stun in our rending, uh, in our rending chill over here. Let's hope this works. If it doesn't, we might be in a bit of trouble. Okay, so optical and then we can do destruction burst. Okay, it didn't work. Huh, okay, is he going to heal a bunch now? Flies into a rage. Oh god. The stun didn't work, damn it! <laughs> Mental empowerment. Okay, I, I wasn't I didn't reach this part yesterday. Regeneration. I think we just got very very unlucky this round. Yeah, the shadow feeder pendant didn't work. Oh my god. You know what? I think we're just going to die here. We're going to die here and re-attempt the fight. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'm going to heal up on my SP. Wait, does this actually work? I think it doesn't, right? Yeah, okay. I think I think you still lose all your SP. Let me let me just see. I think you still lose all your SP. Hold up. Yeah, we didn't manage to stun him. What was that freaking luck, dude? That's ridiculous luck. Oh, okay, I still have this form, I forgot. How could I have forgotten? Yep, let's die now. Yeah, this is how much damage it does if you're not prepared. Okay. Oh, you lose all your SP, okay. Fine. Fine. Let's go again. God damn it, okay. Yeah, super duper unlucky. Couldn't get anything to inflict just now. I don't know what the heck was going on with my luck there. Yeah, that was just really bad. Shadow Feeder Pendant took two full SP bars to finally get something. The stun, uh, like what? Three, four different forms of stun? The bolts, the double snarl, the freaking rending chill from... Yeah, and I still couldn't get it to inflict. Wow. Very, very bad luck there. Oh, come on. Are you... Are you serious? What? What the heck is going on? What is this luck? What the heck is this luck? Oh, wow. This is so bad. Come on. <laughs> it definitely wasn't this hard yesterday. I think yesterday... Maybe because I did it like very very early on, they, there was still some bugs or something going wrong with the fight. <laughs> but right now, I, I think they, they fixed all the weird shenanigans that wasn't supposed to happen and now I think the fight got a little bit harder. But no matter, it's it's still doable, it's still doable. So yeah, that's what happens if you don't manage to stun him. I, I didn't manage to catch that yesterday because I, I was able to stun him yesterday. <laughs> wow, that was very bad. Very 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 bad. Uh oh, overheal. Six rounds. Okay, here we go. Here we freaking go. Okay. Set last. 
あーのダメージ PCO いや full amp right ok let's have it we don't need full amp actually that's a waste so we just need a uh, spells ok spell amp and then we also don't need rending chill we just need ch uh, rending weave yup there we go and then we can destruction burst ok so yeah we already hit the cap there very very easy to hit the 1000 damage cap and we can switch over to a healing pad like Fairy Godmother and then we can use our optical here. We can also dismiss the gas. Now we can bring out the full amp, okay? Uh no. Anima. And intellect. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we can turn this off. <coughs> then I am going to I'm gonna heal up some SP here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, some SP and then I will chug a HP pot lucky heal nope that's okay nice oh not nice okay next uh, Ren mana And we can destruction burst again. Oh, what the? Come on, are you kidding me? How? Literally how? Dude, that's so dumb. What the heck was that? Seriously? Game? Hello? What? Yeah, uh, this game is against me. Game is freaking against me. Are you kidding me? How did I miss? Okay, he does that, and then now he's going to do the ice attack. So back to ice macro. Oh wait, that's the next turn, right? Okay. okay. So now we have one turn to go ahead and hit him first. So let's hit him in this first. Uh, Dragon Lord Will, we have PCO. Oh la la. Please stop missing. How am I missing with freaking, what, 300 intellect? You are kidding me, dude. Freaking kidding me. Okay, destruction burst. Come on, gotta land all hits, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I have no idea how the heck it even missed just now. That doesn't just doesn't make any sense at all. So we're gonna do invincible star here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we can do this one. I think we can just do lesser star. Yeah, I think we can just do lesser star for this one. Cut some of that damage. What's talent tower? Dismiss that gas. Healing pad. And optical. And then yeah, 13%. Okay. Should be good. Let's drink a mana pot here. We'll save the the better invincible star for later on. And it does the mana attack. Okay, so yeah, this this one's still okay, I guess. Back to spell slinger, back to this. Uh, Polala, let's bring that out. <coughs> ah, I forgot to toggle that off, didn't I? Never mind. Then we have our uh, last pack. E-bus again. Okay, there we go. 
And then I think he still has a bit of HP left. Yeah, I think he still does. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dismiss this. Anima. Nope. Pets will have Cometoid Jelly. Yeah, I think Cometoid Jelly will heal a bunch. And here, I think we can chuck... No, no, no. Before that. Almost forgot. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's use this instead. Donuts 211. Okay. There we go. And 0 0.65. I think that would be sufficient. Should be sufficient, I think. Let's heal up here. Okay, nice heal. Okay, now the healing stopped. Okay, harm attack, boom. 460, okay, we can handle that. Still got celerity, so that's nice. So we can bring back uh, our last pet here. Oh la la, man, I thought, I really thought I was going to get this in one try. Apparently, I just wasn't lucky. Yeah, very, very unlucky today. Ren, we can do... Mana. Shock chamber. There we go. Uh, we'll just stay in this armor. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Dismiss gas. Uh, pets. We have fairy godmother. Then we'll heal up the MP. Let's go. Now he should be doing the stun thingy. So this is the part where we need to stun him, I think. Yep, okay. So let's see if we can get the stun off. Please work. Okay, so first off, we can try this first. This is... Please, come on, work. Work, work, work. Oh, 308. Damn it. Okay, we still got celerity, right? Yeah, we still do, okay. Uh, I think we can do it on turn 2. Yeah, let's do let's do that on turn 2. I'm going to summon Polala first. Yeah, let's nuke him, turn 1, and then turn 2 we'll try and do that. Okay, now we do rending chill. See if we can get it. I don't think we can. Nope, of course we don't. Uh, that's okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, bolts. Yes, we got him. Nice, very, very nice. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Very nice. Got him first try. Okay, so you have optical here, and then. Oh, Essence off. More HP. Oh, be really good now as we, we get a lucky heal. Nope, no lucky heal. Oh well. Oh, forgot to boost the pet damage again. Ah, well. Okay, so nice. Now that we interrupted his recovery, we can go back to nuking him. But right now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and chuck a mana pot first because, yep, I have no mana. Okay. Okay. He does that, that's fine by me. Alright, so I think we are going to stick with optical for the healing. Yeah, I think the healing really helps. Uh I don't really think we need Okay, let's do let's do full amp. Okay, back to No, don't need vending chill. Can't stun him anyway. So vending weave is good enough and then we can do debus again. Okay, nice. Okay, now he's going to do his ice attack, so we switch over to ice necro. Lost talent. And we want to do invincible star for this one. Okay, so we're going to do greater star. Otherwise, he's going to hit us for a whole lot of damage that we don't want, obviously. And I'm going to pot up just in case. Yeah, this is just in case. 
Uh, let's see, you can get another health pot. Okay, we are ready. Huh? That wasn't that bad. Okay, now he's going to do his stupid harm nuke. Okay, so for the harm nuke, he is back on mixed nuts. Though, you can also dodge slash the boss, but I think uh, his harm attack is auto hit. So yeah, I heard from people saying that his harm attack is auto hit. So just something to keep in mind. Bam. Okay, whatever. Uh, MP pot. Okay, so now we want to stun him again. So let's hope this works. Please. Bolts, please work. Yes, we got him. Okay, nice. Yeah, finally we are getting we are getting the dub on this guy. Finally, finally. Okay, let's Polala. Polala is kinda overkill. Wait no. Last sorry. Then we have this. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. Okay, last little bit of HP left. And we got a bit of barrier too. Very nice. Oh, okay. So we interrupt his recovery and this should do it. There we go! We beat him! Okay, so our first round was just super lucky. JKF, now! I can't reach it! No! What? Is everyone alright? I think so. What just happened? I believe that the orb was hurled into the deep while Entropy was trying to summon all the energy he hadn't unleashed yet. Creation and uncreation mana can't, don't cancel each other out. The reaction is... Violent, very violent. The orb is gone and the deep was almost destroyed in the blast. I barely managed to protect you all, but I couldn't contain the creation mana as well. It burst out into the world. The best case scenario, if it somehow reached the ley lines despite this place being cut off from them, I don't know. I understand the phenomenon, phenomenon mind, but it's unpredictable. Creation mana driven out of control flowing into the world like this. It could cause intense magical events for years to come. As to what exactly? It depends on how well each ley line filters the magic. While irreversible changes throughout the world could just as easily lead to beneficial effects as they could unleash terrible dangers across law. Ah, you're conscious. Good. As I recall, you killed my avatar. Entropy, do me a favor. Imagine what a god of evil's retribution must be like when they have to make it quick. How terribly painful it must be. Do you have a mental image? Good. Don't bother screaming. I won't give you the satisfaction of final words. Instead, let me show you how your imagination really cannot do my wrath justice. Ooh, that was grisly. Definitive though. A thousand times over, though in truth he deserved worse. Entropy had hurt and killed those dear to me like few others. He also put me in a position that the Calestian Pantheon will not tolerate further. My apologies if anybody present was eager to do the honors, but I could not wait any longer. Killing him had become a diplomatic obligation of sorts. Ah, but that's a matter for later. How are you two holding up? I, I don't know, a burden is lifted, but I don't know what to do without it. I can still feel hate. I hated Entropy, but that all-consuming hatred that Entropy was, I didn't let go of it willingly. I was made to do it. I know that emotion was manipulated as well, but it started with my choices. I know I've done wrong. Then I was enslaved and killed and freed and bound again, over and over again, and I... I need time. Now that I'm finally alone in my own head, I need time to figure out what to feel responsible for. How to handle gratitude for one, I vividly remember killing me. I'll manage. How about you? Falling over yet? I'm alive for now. Glad you're on the road to feeling like yourself again. It'll be difficult, but we'll be there for you. I feel like the future isn't hanging from a thread anymore, but I don't know what kind of life awaits us now. The end. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Oops. I didn't manage to catch that, but I didn't click either. Uh, maybe you guys can pause the video and see that. So for rewards, you have probably the best win armor right now. Best fully offensive win armor right now. So highly recommend everyone to go ahead and get this. Titles we have chosen and for hero... Hero of the Last Dawn, this title you get from beating the challenge fight. So I've already bought the items. Uh, very expensive armor, but well worth the cost, guys. Definitely, definitely get it. But make sure you have enough gold before coming into the quest. Otherwise, you have to redo the whole thing. Alright, so I'm just going to test this out against Combat Practice Trainer. And then we'll test this out against a level 150 mod to see how it fares. So we'll hide the shield. I don't have info subs for the armor yet, but uh, it doesn't matter, okay? So use something that doesn't have any special effects. 
uh, Gloom Glaive. I think Gloom Glaive has a special, but it doesn't really matter. So 55, 50, 53 MR. I'm pretty standard. 39% to win. That's your primary resist. Doesn't really have a secondary resist. Okay, energy and fire at 60%. Then your light and darkness at 77%. I expected darkness to be secondary, but oh well. Uh, then it's weak to water at 90%, and the opposite element is earth at 100%. Fully offensive armor. Okay, so it's normal attacks. Is two hits. So yeah, very basic uh two hit attack. And then we have con okay wait, let me maybe let's use something else. Let's use this. Okay, let's attack for full damage. This is full damage because you need some turns before you can see the full potential of range damage. So yeah, this is the standard uh normal attack. Nothing much to shout about. But I can toggle consuming rev, so this is 78 SP per turn. So if you have this toggle on and nothing else, you don't have a gas to upkeep, you don't have other skills to upkeep, you don't have a mist to upkeep, you can uh, toggle this in that uh infinitely. And what this does is uh you'll lock your armor attacks to win and your enemies uh will also so now you can have a chance to inflict consuming hatred. So it uh reduces the RBTH by 3 for every successful hit. So yeah, each time you land a hit, you uh, reduce the enemy's BTH by 3. And this stacks, I believe it stacks infinitely. I managed to get like 100 plus yesterday. But keep in mind that the enemy can resist uh, with an endurance save. So this, these are not separate stacks. They can cleanse everything with one successful save. So even if you manage to inflict it to like minus 100 or something like that, all they need is one save to clear it entirely. So this is good on paper and... But in uh, real life, it in like a practical combat situation is not as fantastic as it is versus the combat practice trainer because a lot of enemies do have some endurance so yeah just something to keep in mind and then next up we have rising rev so this one 127 sp very cheap very spammable skill so what this does is uh it builds up charges for your reckoning similar to the armor that we played with just now and this one the damage is crazy and why the damage is crazy is because it has an inaccurate lead but of course versus combat practice trainer you can see that because coupled with the consuming hatred you're just going to land all your hits and then last but not least we have reckoning so this is super expensive 490 sp and 174 hp but many hits as well as a lot of damage watch this all right look at that insane damage and even okay let's showcase one without any stacks okay without any stacks of that Let's see how much you can do, okay? No stacks at all. 9.2k, right? No lucky strikes as well. That's like what? Close to 3,000 damage. No lucky strikes. No reckoning charges. That is insane, okay? Uh, but the only reason why it's so powerful is because I believe it's an inaccurate lean according to Brady. But we don't have the info subs yet, so we don't really know. But I, I am assuming that is correct because the damage is just through the roof on this one okay so let's test this out against a level 150 monster so you can see how well it really fares in a practical combat situation as opposed to versus combat practice trainer i believe it's this one <coughs> excuse me pinata and shout out to smite for telling me about this so yeah we can use this guy for the testing uh let's see so attack got it oh Immediately resisted guys, look at it. Okay, wait, let me bring out a shield as well. Minus 6. This guy has 2 to 5 endurance. Not the highest, but also not low either. Okay, minus 15. If you use something like the Red Moon Dao or like Optical or any or like Spotter Drake, you can use that to boost your status potency. That will help you to inflict easier as well as prevent the enemy from resisting the status easier so you can go ahead and use those items if you want uh, to stack your you know cold status or whatnot so let's do rising rev okay and then yeah let's go ahead and do reckoning oh my god 92 92 92 this is just slightly higher than uh normal mrm so yeah let's try and do it without the cold infliction let's see if uh, we can still land as many hits as we did just now. Let's go. 
Right, so we're going to try this without, uh, without the cold infliction because the cold infliction does help with landing your hits. But this is why I like. There is good synergy. So first you do consuming wrath to lower your enemy's PTH so we can land your hits. And then you do rising wrath to stack up damage if you want to. Otherwise you can just go straight up for the nuke from reckoning. So let's do rising wrath a few times. Okay, still landing everything. That's nice. Uh, rising rare. Oh, okay. So now you can see here we got a few misses already. Okay, so yeah, we got a few misses, but it's not that bad. And keep in mind, this is just slightly higher than normal. It's not the highest we see, and it's definitely monsters with way higher MRM than that. So something to keep in mind, okay. Now we do reckoning. Okay. So yeah, even with like one or two misses, you're still dealing quite an insane amount of damage. But also keep in mind, the cost is pretty steep. Not only are you paying a hefty SP cost, but you're also paying a uh, a noticeable HP cost as well. I wouldn't say significant HP cost, but noticeable. So yeah, all in all, I think this is the best in slot. Fully offensive wind armor. And finally, we get a fully offensive wind armor that is not perma rare like academy armor. Not package item like your arenas. Uh, champion like your uh lord of the skies package so yeah this is very nice and i absolutely love it the artwork the skill more importantly the practicality of the armor this is an easy easy 10 out of 10 armor for me good synergy with itself uh reducing the enemy's bth reducing uh, for better defenses reducing the enemy's defense so you can land your hits with your inaccurate attacks later on with through rising ref you can charge up the damage and then reckoning your go to super nuke all right very very fun armor and yeah uh 10 out of 10 and the release as well the release i'm going to rate it a very solid 9 out of 10 release this is just an absolute absolutely perfect release i like i've not been so excited for aq in a while and i think they did an absolutely fantastic job with the release uh for this week so yeah keep up the good work aq stuff like despite the months of like super boring releases finally oh yeah we get pet, uh berserk as well i forgot to mention that so now we get berserk so you get minus 10 to bth but you deal extra damage so there is also that downside uh that i almost forgot to mention so yeah you get a berserk as well was it for rising ref or was it for reckoning i can't remember Let, let's see that again i think it's for rising ref if i'm not wrong so does that berserk stack almost forgot to check that out okay. not for rising ref i think okay i think it's just for reckoning okay i think it's just reckoning if we what happens if we spam reckoning not like we can spam it a lot of times yeah it's uh it's only for reckoning so reckoning gives you berserk which is nice if you want to boost your damage but uh, it'll make your attacks more in inaccurate, but also but consuming ref, reducing the enemy's MRM. So does that really matter? No, not really, because yeah, this armor just is fantastic synergy. Okay, so you increase your berserk's duration, but you don't increase the uh the power of the berserk. Alright, so yeah, still 10 out of 10 armor. I love it. I love this week's release. Thank you, AQ Star, for a fantastic release. Hope to see more or such uh great releases from you guys all right so that is the end of the video guys very long video today hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you have then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content till the next time i'm your host Corban gaming peace out